Sheep herding of passengers may be standard airport routine, but at least the shepherds are pretty. Oh, sir, one moment. It's my pleasure to inform you that you are the 10 millionth passenger to pass through Athens Airport. What fun. Would you come with me, please? <laughs> Thank you, but no. I am in transit. On my way to Beirut, I may miss my connecting flight. Oh, please, it's uh, my job, and we won't keep you long. The management want to make a small presentation and a glass of champagne. Please come. This way. All this for being the 10th million passenger? Well, you can skip the champagne. Annabelle speaking. Our VIP will be with us in 20 minutes. 20 minutes? <laughs> Just a minute. I have a plane to catch for Beirut. There are other planes. Yes, but my bags happen to be on that plane. Your bags are in the back of this car. Get in. Now, please, don't be alarmed. I am sorry, but it was the only way I could be sure of getting you. Getting me? We need you. May I be so bold as to ask for what? Surely that's obvious. After all, you're the famous Simon Templar. Simon Templar. Out. I want no calls or interruptions. Patroclus? Eugene Patroclus? You've heard of me? Who hasn't? Goodbye. Now, Templar, please. You are very angry, yes? That is an understatement. It will all be made good. You are here, now listen to me and sit down. I need something done, done urgently. Mr. Patroclus, let's get one thing straight. I very rarely do favors for the overprivileged and never under pressure. So, you will change your mind after you hear this. I am being impersonated, Temper. No, a better word, duplicated. Disgusting. Think of a... A carbon copy, a photostat, so accurate in every detail as to be identical. There are two of me, Templar, two. It quite turns my stomach. That is your only comment? Apart from the obvious, it is impossible. So we agree. Impossible. These old stories about perfect doubles are all malarkey. Yes, yes, to imitate clothes, that is simple. Mannerisms, even. But beneath them, there is the man, me. Quite. Me, unique, unrepeatable, these lines. No man can have these things without he be me. You're absolutely right. And there you have it, Mr. Protocolus. The case is solved. May I go now? Nevertheless, Templar, though we both know it is impossible, there is such a man. Have you seen him? No, but uh, my friends say to me, I've seen you last week in Paris. <laughs> I tell them I have not been in Paris. I've been here at home. With a good book. I am serious. Now, I find entries in my bank statement showing I've made purchase of a new car or a piece of jewelry when I have made no such purchase. Have you asked to see the checks? Of course, my signature, but I did not sign them. Now, listen, Templar, I had houses, apartments, offices all over the world, and this man uses them. Wherever I am not, he is. He knows my every move, and for every suit I possess, he has had made another identical. Now, I say to the London police, I am being impersonated. Please find this man quick. They are very active. A week later, they arrest me. 
Wouldn't have uh, been anything to do with uh, Chief Inspector Teal, would it? Huh? Oh, just a joke. Yes, you joke, you joke, but I am on my way to an important meeting. Now, I said this to the police, but no, first I must go to Scotland Yard, they must see my passport, the whole thing, you know. At last they are convinced that I'm the real Patroclus. I may go. I precipitate myself to this meeting. But what is this? It is finished without me. This masquerader, he's been there. Not only that, he has blocked a deal I was planning. And instead, he has negotiated another. Mr. Patroclus, it's uh, quite unbelievable. At last, you are interested, huh? But that Templar was just the beginning. Since then, there have been many such deals. Oh, well. Uh, what sort of deals? Oh, shipping. All shipping. Uh, successful? Very successful, but um, unprincipled. In what way? This Templar is confidential. Arms to the Congo, hard drugs to the United States. You know, any number of things I would never deal in. I see. I'm sorry, Mr. Nicholas. He's in conference. No, I'm sorry. He'll call you. And you want me to find him? I'll give you 100,000 American dollars if you do. Mr. Patroclus, no. I am on holiday. You weren't listening, were you? I said I never did things under pressure. Oh, you messed up my plans. I thought I'd mess yours up for half an hour. It is unwell, isn't it? Well, seeing as you arrange things so nicely, would you like to pick up your phone and book me a seat on the next Beirut-bound plane? I've uh, already checked. There isn't another flight until tomorrow morning. Really? Yes, really. But since we do have a suite booked for you tonight at the Minos Palace. Oh, we do, do we? On the house, I trust. Naturally. Well, I don't believe you about the plane. But a night here at the master's expense could have its compensations. You won't forget about the flight tomorrow, will you? I'll see myself out. Ah, oh, Mr. Templer. Yes. Uh, would you sign, please? Thank you. And someone left this for you. Thank you. Pick up your cases. There's a cab waiting outside to take you to the airport. You will leave now. Oh, how thoughtful, but a trifle premature. Tell him to come back tomorrow morning. No, sir. The dogs will try again. You may weaken. You must leave now. So pick up the cases and move out slowly. Well, the plane leaves in half an hour. We'd better hurry. Thought things over. And you've changed your mind. Splendid. Anything else I should know? Yes, there is. For me, more important. This man or his agents have been to my safe. What was missing? My code book. It contains everything. Details of my entire business empire, plus the code I used to communicate with my companies. Which you uh, immediately cancelled, I trust? That is not the point. But this thing is my most key possession. A part of my very identity. If he obtains this, what else may he obtain? My certificate of birth, my passport. Now, don't you see what it means? I do indeed. He becomes me. And that's what he wants, don't you see? Force me out and take my place. So, find this masquerader and get me back my code book. All right, where do I start? London. In two weeks, I have a series of important meetings. He may have it in his head to be there instead of me. If so, you will foil it. Fine, I'll uh, leave tonight. You'll leave in an hour. Annabelle has made your reservation. Come in. You, uh, you haven't seen us, lads, right? Okay. 
It's, it's strictly against the rules, you know, Simon. Well, it's jolly nice of you. Right, then. Old Pat Tropolos, so golden guts, say. Mac, Mac, Nam, Pat, here we are. Been keeping well? Go and complain. There we are. All yours. Thanks. There he is. Ugly looking beggar, isn't he? What's he been up to? You tell me. Yeah, wait a minute, there was something. His ships have been carrying dodgy cargoes lately. There were some mumblings in the UN about it. Oh, no. No, we tried to work up a feature on it, but it was too green. The old man said let it uh, ripen a little. What about women? Uh, man's a monk. The only things he takes home are bits of glass. Glass? Tinkle, tinkle, you know. Stuff you drink out of. He's got one of the finest collections in the world, antique stuff. Hello. You found something? Yeah. Read the blurbs. Eugene Petrokolos party going in Venice. Eugene Petrokolos presenting the Out Islands yachting trophy at Nassau. So what? Read the dates they were taken on. 10th of July, 1968. 10th of July, 1968. Well, he couldn't have been in two places at the same time, could he? Must be a misprint. You mind if I give him? Help yourself. Just don't flash me about when you go out, will you? <laughs> Speaking. Hello, Annabelle? Yes. Is Mr. Patroclus there? Of course. Can I speak to him? He's, um, in conference. Well, get him to the phone. Tell him it's urgent. He gave me strict orders. He wasn't to be disturbed. I said get him to the phone or I quit the job. All right. Hold on. Templar, I'm extremely busy, so make it brief. What do you want? Well, I'm uh, calling from London, Mr. Patroclus. I just wanted to make sure you were there. I've been here all the time, of course. Now... If that's all you want to know, excuse me, I have much work to do. Bye. <laughs> Your name, please, sir? Simon Templer. Or oh, Miss Annabel? Mr. Simon Templer. Annabel, how are you? I don't think we've met. Well, Simon Templer. San Remo. We, uh, we shared a crayfish on the Esplanade, I seem to remember. I think you must be mistaken. Although I do seem to have seen you somewhere recently. You are Annabelle, aren't you? Well, yes, but... Oh, dear. I'm a forgotten incident, am I? Well, never mind. You just tell Eugene I'm here. Well, I suppose it's all right. Uh, you better come in. Uh, do you know anyone here? Probably. I don't see Eugene. Well, he's busy at the moment, but uh, I'll tell him you're here. Excuse me. <laughs> well, you know Eugene. Once he gets his claws into a man... Rends him limb from limb, don't we know? What did he do? Sold the company, the chap along with it. 
bound by contract for the next five years. Sold it to a firm of East End bookmakers, if you please. <laughs> <laughs> Sold into slavery, was huh? Exactly. Marvellous. Good old Eugène, he never changes. Oh, I don't know. Wouldn't you say he had changed a bit lately? What do you mean? It's hard to explain. Hadn't you noticed? Well, none of us are getting any younger. Well, you mean you're not, Charles. Eugene seems to stay exactly the same. Well, I uh, don't mean exactly that he's aged. It's, well, he's just changed. Well, I hadn't noticed it. Nor I. Sometimes I wish he would. Oh, well, it's uh, just an impression. Perhaps I'm mistaken. Mr. Templer, he'll see you now. Thank you. You'll excuse me? Strange fellow. What was he getting at? I don't know. He's rather nice, though, isn't he? Mr. Templer. Jean, good to see you. Templer, what brings you here at this hour? Well, I was uh, passing, saw your porch light. Guess you must be home. How was Athens? Not good political situation. You look well. You're not mad at me? Should I be? Well, Annabel gave me the glass elbow. I thought something had happened. Cigar? No, thanks. What have you been doing since San Remo? Oh, moving around, picking up a piece here and there. As a matter of fact, that's why I stopped by. I may have found you another Millefiori. Is that so? Yes, a matching piece to the one I sold you in San Remo. You do still have it, I hope. See for yourself. Ah, yes. Which one? Well, I'm hardly likely to forget. That one. Glad to see you've done some homework, but not quite enough, I'm afraid. That piece came from Sotheby's, the Cambrian collection. Enough games. What do you want? You know what I want. You think I might make a deal with you, is that it? Possibly it might just save your bacon. Sit down. When Annabelle says to me, you are here, I say to myself, what is the saint doing in my house? It was... Very inexplicable to me, at first. At first? My good Templar, you know I am being impersonated, so you resolve to investigate on my behalf. You are very shrewd. You confirm this, that you are here to investigate this imposter? I can't deny it. Templar, you are hired. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Fetch painter. I think he's gone to bed, sir. Get him up. Very good, Sam. Templar is moving in. Have a room prepared. Tonight? Tonight. Tomorrow you will familiarize him with my itinerary for the next month. What, Mr. Patroclus? That... I trust him. As of now, he's in full charge of my personal security. Templar, commencing next week, I have a series of vital meetings. This imposter may try to worm his way into some of them, so I want you to... I know, see that he doesn't horn in and gum up the works. Yes, that is your assignment. Now, until the commencement of these meetings, you will remain permanently in this house. I will what? That is the condition of your employment. I see. You're bottling me up in case I should try to contact your other half. Nothing personal, you understand? Oh, no, of course not. Well, in that case, I shall go home and pack some things. That will not be necessary. Painter, come in. Painter, this is Mr. Templer. Take the car, go to his home, pack enough clothes to last for a month, and bring them back here. That will not be necessary, Painter. That you remain in this house is a condition of your employment. Accept it or go. Abandoned. 
That was so as not to embarrass your servant. I will remain in this house for as long as I want to. Not one second more. We shall see. But now I have some work to do. Annabelle. Make yourself at home, Templar. Treat this house as your own. Well, there is a difference. At home, I'm not chained to the bedpost. There, sir. I trust we haven't forgotten anything. Thank you. Not a thing. We are very efficient, Painter. Thank you, sir. You uh, been with Mr. Patroclus long? Uh, Fourteen years, sir. You travel with him? Uh, no, sir. I, um, I just work here. Um, allow me, sir. Oh, thank you. Must be quite a problem for a valet, keeping up with his master's changing moods. I'm afraid I, I don't quite... Um... Well, for example, this month, as you see, I'm on a red tie kick. But next month, I could quite easily change to another colour. It's funny you should say that. I mean, colours, he generally wears what I put out for him, but sizes, his feet. His feet? Well, they vary. He always used to wear eight, but sometimes now, when he comes back from abroad, he can only get into nines. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? What is, sir? Well, his feet travel badly. <sighs> yes, sir. I, I won't keep you, sir. I expect you want to get some sleep. Just one thing, sir. If you want to open the window at all, six inches is the limit. Any more and the alarms start to ring. Good night, sir. Good night.
I have cable for someone to call for it at the other end. We've been on the first plane to Athens. We should get there about 9 a.m. Thank you. Not at all. Mr. Patroclos. I'm sorry. You said over the telephone you were here incognito. I have reasons for not wishing the young man to know I am here in London. I understand. Thank you very much, sir. What do you mean, how do I know? It is here in the paper. What for I pay you a thousand when I can buy the paper for pennies? You told me they were fully committed. Some coffee. Pour me some. Morning. Two thousand at six, I'm telling you. Well, check again and call me back. They bleed me, these people. Advance Information Limited should read limited in front. Take a note. Ustako tanker building program. Morning. You slept well, I trust? Yes, uh, considering. Considering what? Considering my new responsibilities. Oh, yes. Well, now, Annabel, today you will brief Templar on the schedules for all the coming meetings. Have you uh, given any thought to what your other half is uh, proposing to do at these meetings? Bit by bit, Templar. He's trying to take control of my business. To what end? What end? Destroy me, of course, and take away my empire. You take it, Annabel. Patroclus residence? Oh, hold on. It's for you, Mr. Templer. A cablegram. Oh, well, I'd uh, <clears throat> better take it downstairs. No need. Annabel will take it here. Oh, go ahead. From Athens, yes. Your gift and communication received. Stop. Wonderful surprise. Stop. Returning to London end of week. Stop. Prepare for big reunion. Love, mother. No, no need to confirm. Thank you. Your mother is in Greece? Yeah, it seems so. It's amazing where the old girl gets to. Last week she was in Timbuktu. Now she crops up in the Acropolis. Remarkable woman. Yes, Wanderlust. Runs in the family. Do you so, know we even sleepwalk? So? Your bath's ready, Mr. Patroclus. Well, Templar, I approve. A man who remembers his mother is a man to be trusted. Well, we are going to spend the day together. We'll start at 11. Fine, we can continue that delightful chat we had in San Remo. We had no chat in San Remo, Mr. Templer. Didn't we? Strange. Could there be two Annabelles? Well, oh, that's it. <laughs> Tonight we'll finish tomorrow. Can I borrow your nightcap? Oh, yes, please. You know, it's funny. Now that I know you better, it makes even less sense. What does? You're bluffing your way into this house. All that nonsense about knowing me before. I did not send the message. It's impossible. I don't care. Check again. Then double check, you fools! Of course I'll countermand it! Just as soon as I can make out a, a coded message. Do it then. Ring me back and hurry up. Annabelle, upstairs. My safe. Get me my code book. Yes. What happened? Why, but why? Six cargo ships on their way to Singapore. Mid-ocean, they change course for an unknown destination. Who sent the message? A communications officer says, I did from Athens, me, but I'm here. It's obvious, isn't it? The other you is there. 
No, no, no. Even here, without he have my personal code, no. Uh, what do the ships carry? Who cares what they're carrying? It seems he does. Well, agricultural machinery, a little grain, nothing. The code book isn't there, Mr. Patroclus. Of course it is, girl. No, I looked thoroughly. What's on a great show, your boss? You two could make a fortune on the stage. You took my code book, that telegram from Athens. Bravo. Excellent dialogue. Beautifully delivered. You're working for the other side. Am I? There is one way to find out. The phony is in Athens. Why aren't we there now, tearing him to strips? Because first I had some business to settle. And is it settled? Yes. Is the plane ready? It's been standing by since noon, sir. All right. We'll face that imposter. Pack your bags. We go. This man who looks like me. Oh, Mr. Patroclus, did you forget something? Who are you? What? Mr. Patroclus, you I... remember me, Annabel? Of course, Mr. Templer. Well, this is the other Patroclus. Annabel? You're supposed to be Annabel? But of course I am. Well, don't try and figure it out, Annabel. Just tell us where he is. Well, you. I mean, he. Well, you just left, Mr. Patroclus. How long ago? Well, just two minutes. You went out the back way. Where's he going? Well, he didn't say. He had a phone call. Who from? Well, from the airport. He collected his papers and rushed out. Come on. That's what I said. Now you know who is real. I arrive, he runs. points. Still anybody's game. The police. They must warn Interpol. Wherever it lands, they must catch him. Oh, I don't think we need bother Interpol. So, you have an idea? When we arrived, that plane was practically out of gas. They haven't had time to refuel. You mean either he turns back or he crashes. I work for Eugene Protocolus. The Protocolus. Well, he must be genuine. She's lying. I'm not. Well, then why pretend to be me? Why should I pretend to be you? Look, what's your full name? Annabelle Rawlings. But I'm Annabelle Rawlings. You're lying. Girls, girls, please. Now, Annabelle. Yes? yes. Annabelle One, that's you. How long have you worked for the man known as Patroclus? Five years. And you, Annabelle Two? Five years. Well, as the fake Patroclus has not been going that long, one of you is lying. Can either of you prove you've been working for him that long? I can. You can check with the Bannerman Bureau in London. But I was employed through Bannermans. Well, unless Bannermans carry photographs of the girls they find jobs for, which I'm sure they don't, we are up against a brick wall. Hello? Yes? 
as I say. Thank you. Well, it crashed into the sea, five miles off Corfu. No survivors. So, thank you. Oh, no. I had to pretend while there was still some hope. Then he was the fake. Yes. I didn't know at first. Then when he made me change my name, I began to realize. And he offered me a lot of money. Satisfied, Templar? There are still a few things I don't understand. We'll discuss them later, but now, this young lady and I, we have to go to the police. Oh, please. No, I will make no charge, but uh, you must give a full statement of all this so that I may dissociate myself from any damage this man has done. You don't waste a second, do you? You're the real Patroclus, all right. I'll see you both at the villa. Well, that's that. Is it? What about the pilot? He must have known the plane was low on fuel. After all, he flew it from London, so why did he take off again? Maybe he was forced to. Gunpoint? No, I don't think so. And there's another thing. The code book. It never left London. Oh, I got it out of the safe all right, and I even got it as far as London Airport. But your Patroclus took it back again. And without the code books, the ship couldn't be diverted, right? Oh, yes, I see what you mean. Your Patroclus did the diverting from London. He had the code book all the time. No, darling, it just doesn't fit. It's all too pat. Plane crashes, imposter killed, case solved. What are you looking for? Cargo manifests. Anything to tell us what those ships are carrying. Here's something. A repair bill for a ship called the Macedonian Prince. She was supposed to have sailed with six others, but got held up because of engine trouble. She's still in port. Yeah? Yes, in Piraeus. She sails at midnight. Annabelle, too. I love you. One says paint. Let's have a look. What is it? Paint. Now let's try farm implements. Implements. That's the uh, Kok Nu alphabet used in Vietnam. So you think they're bound for North Vietnam? There's no doubt about it. So there's other six ships. And there we have it. The mystery solved. But not the problem. And what problem? Stop this ship sailing tonight. Would I? Notify the police? Why? There's no law against the export of arms. Well, then why are they hidden? To avoid trouble with the Americans. Well, that's it. There's a U.S. Navy frigate anchored in the bay. See if you can contact one of the shore parties. Think you can make it alone? Well, yes, but what about you? Well, I'm going to stay and see what other little surprises they have in store for us.
Skorby. Sorry, Templar. These idiots didn't realize. Oh, they realized all right. Look at this. What is the meaning of this? Well, let me explain. Singapore was just a, a paper destination, a sop to the authorities. All that guff about the ships being diverted, they weren't being diverted at all. The destination right from the outset was Hanoi. If this is true, then, then it must be my imposter. Oh, come off it, Patroclus. There is no imposter, never has been. It was you right from the start. It was rumored you were shipping arms to North Vietnam. You knew that once these rumors were proved, bang would go your nice fat investments in the US. So you invented a double, a scapegoat, someone you could heap the whole blame on and walk off scot-free. <laughs> but then why would I hire you? Oh, you needed an impartial witness, someone to prove this other man existed. So, all my work is for nothing. But if you will not be a witness for me, you will never be one against me. Kill him. Whatever your troubles are, you just tell them to chuck Spendleton. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, they're going to disappear. <laughs> Shoot, the whole lot goes up. Us with it. Now back off. So it ends, eh, Eugene? The big bamboozle. I must say the planning was fantastic. The quick switch from Athens to London that had me forward. The slightly altered hairstyle. The careful briefing of your staff. The ballot. The chasing of the empty Rolls Royce. Oh, and the plane. What did the pilot do? Set the controls and jump out while he was still over land. It was a brilliant plan, except for one thing. The whole basic premise. As I said when we met, the whole idea of a perfect double is just a load of malarkey. <laughs> Things are changed from the cavalry. Hey, is that thing alive? Yes. Paint. But what could I do? After all, he was my boss. I had to go along with him. Of course you did, Annabelle One. I believed everything he told me. I thought the imposter was for real. Of course you did, Annabelle Two. Anyway, I'm glad the Americans intercepted the other ships. What will they do to him, Mr. Patroclus, when he gets over his nervous breakdown? <laughs> Legally, nothing. But financially, Uncle Sam will cut him down to about that size. You know what fooled me all the time? What? The simplest trick of all. I know what I want. Lunch. How about you two? Oh, that would be lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. I've been here all the time, of course. Now, if that's all you want to know, excuse me. I have much work. Emperor, I'm extremely busy, so make it brief. What do you want? <laughs>